All right, so we have made it to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. <laughs> I'm like a gnat. But right now, I just gave them my load ID number and uh, they're checking me in. I don't have a badge. It's my first time again being here. So um, they said whenever I come in, I give them my load number. And yeah, oh, my load ID. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. I just backed in to the dock. Gotta have a safety vest at all times per Amazon requirements. And I don't even know what the fuck is going on with this app. But uh, I'm gonna go get checked in and I'll be back. I hope these colors look good. I look, mm, I look flat as fuck. So I'm not actually going into the Amazon facility. Uh, the cool shades back on. But yeah, I'm not actually going into the Amazon uh, warehouse. I think they, they asked me for my keys. So I think they're filling me up now. So we're gonna see, hold on a second. All right, so I just talked to the guy. Uh, they came and put like a stopper in front of the thing, but they gonna fill up my truck. So I ain't even gotta get out this motherfucker. <laughs> that shit lit. No cap. All right, peeps. So we are in route. That's the time they want us to drive by, but I think I'm gonna get there way before that. And uh, hold on a second. Yeah, so I am about to hit the freeway. This is my first Amazon route. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we're going to see. So I'll see y'all on the road. Let's get it. What's up, guys? All right, so right now I'm grabbing fuel and food. I'm probably about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes away from Oklahoma. Look, look at the box truck. Ain't y'all happy to see her? Let's see. Yeah, I've been hounding me lately these last few months about where the box truck is. Well, finally using her. This is what Amazon put on the back. Again, they loaded everything they sell, so I didn't have to touch anything. I mean, I'll take it. So, uh, but yeah, we just going to fuel up. I should be getting there about, I don't know, I think I should be getting to Oklahoma City, the actual fulfillment center, about an hour and 45 minutes before I'm supposed to be there. So hopefully they let me uh, drop off early. But yeah, guys, um, I don't know. I noticed that the Amazon app tracks my speed. I'm not for sure if they keep track of that or not, but or if it like will reflect that. Uh, so that's something kind of new to me. But I don't know. I. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hop off, man, and I will see y'all on the road. Uh, the Amazon app is real easy to use, though, and uh, I really ain't got no complaints so far, so far. But uh, we got the best of both worlds. This is just warehouse to warehouse. Um, on the way back, I booked, uh, this gonna be warehouse to six different post offices, so that should be fun. So I'm actually be, gonna be getting my hands dirty this trip. So stay tuned, guys. See y'all in a minute. Peace. All right, peeps, made it to the Amazon in Oklahoma City. I don't know if you can see those people over there. Uh, they got like a lot of cargo vans over here, but just walked up to the door because they didn't have a guard shack here. And sorry if I sound nasally, like my allergies are on like 10 right now, but uh, walked up to the door, pressed the doorbell. She scanned the barcode that was on my phone, let her know where I came from. She told me to pull it to 107. That's where we at. And now I wait to get unloaded. She said, once I'm unloaded, go back over there, uh, ring the doorbell. I don't know. But I mean, I guess that's it. I showed up uh, 200 minutes early, so this shit get worse. But, but yeah, I showed up super early, so yeah, I got to chill. My next load ain't until my next, fuck. I can't even breathe out of my nose right now. My, <laughs> I 
I'm still so fucking stupid. Why next? Like, what the fuck? Uh, my. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, this shit is ridiculous. Uh, the, the next, uh, fuck. The next load is at another facility, and that's at Ward. So, I'll be just chilling until then, and then I'll be headed back to Dallas. Let's see what happens. All right, let me go ahead and make this video before my nose gets stopped up again. I made it to the second Amazon facility. Um, I went and checked in. I came like a whole four hours early. So they gave me a visitor's badge. Uh, so if it's your first time, make sure you go to the front, show up early because it took me about 30 minutes to get me that badge. And I still got to turn it in when I leave. Uh, I don't know. They said I can check in up to 30 minutes early. So that'll be at one o'clock because my actual time to be here is 1.30. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get that show on the road so I can, so I can get back early. Uh, I'm tired, so I'm finna just pretty much nap. Pulled over the side of the road, I'm finna lay across the seat. I got my blanket, got my little pillow over there, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, three hour nap coming in soon, so I'll see y'all when we pick up. We got a problem. So I'm at the first drop off uh, on my way back to Dallas. And I'm at first post office. And nobody's here to answer the door. Like straight growth, straight ghost town, bro. So I hope y'all can hear me. But I mean, I'm here, but nobody's here. So I've already called Amazon support. They said to give it about 15 to 20 minutes to see what's going on and then they gonna do something from there. But I don't know. I really don't know. But if I have to go all the way back to Oklahoma City, I'm going to be pissed, bro. Pissed. Pissed. I can't even tell. Pissed. Like, I'm gonna be super pissed if I gotta go all the way back to Oklahoma City. No cap. So, I'll keep y'all updated. Uh, yeah, keep y'all updated and we're gonna see what happens. So, they never showed up. Um, I waited for about 45 minutes and uh, I called the support, uh, I guess Amazon support, and they told me just to go to my next drop off which like okay cool but there's a problem why well one first of all what am i supposed to do with this shit that's still in my truck two the app is set up for you to drop this stuff off and then you have to like that's how you clear it by you got to scan the stuff and then leave it there showing that you dropped it off so my app is still showing that I'm there when I'm not. That's another problem. So, I mean, I don't really know. And then now I gotta do extra shit. I gotta take that stuff off to get to the stuff behind it. And then when I'm done, put that stuff back on. I gotta do that every stop after this. Y'all already know what I'm thinking. <laughs> she. Because I'm almost positive they're going to make me try to bring this back to Oklahoma City. And I'm going to be like a whole two hours away. Yeah, so. This should be interesting. I'll let y'all know how I go. Let me show y'all something. We're at the post office, the second drop off. Mm. 
daily truck schedule, Saturday through Friday. Today's Wednesday. Well, I guess Thursday now. Or it's, or it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Morning arrival, 6, 10 a.m. Like, what the fuck? But nobody's here either, so. Fuck. Uh, don't shut off. I oh, didn't shut off. Uh. But yeah, I don't know. And I put in a request for Amazon to call me. They still haven't called. So. I'll keep y'all updated. I know it's not the same day, but um, long story short, I got pissed off. And I just stopped recording. But uh, I just want to fill you guys in on the rest of the video. Or not even the rest of the video because there ain't no rest of the video. I just want to let you guys know what happened. After um, I think about 10 minutes, Amazon ended up contacting me. They ROC or whatever. Like the, the people um, that help you while you're on the road. They ended up contacting me about like 15 minutes later. And um, so there are containers on, um, at the post offices because the first trip was from warehouse facility to warehouse facility and I'll just come back to that but the first trip was from you know what I'm saying from the DFW to OKC then the second trip was from OKC back to Texas but I was stopping at different post offices dropping off the loads um, at different post offices so basically they never told me that there are containers outside of these post offices and you put those amazon packages inside the containers don't like i wish i wish they would have relayed that to me so this whole time i could have been and dropped off went to the next spot dropped off went to the next spot dropped off so even at the first spot i waited and it was like oh but no one's there you can just go to the next spot and so i was like okay cool and so they said that they were going to pay me which they didn't might i add full disclosure um but they um so but the i guess the lady whoever i spoke to they didn't know that they had a combination to um the actual the i guess they didn't she didn't know about the container either so she didn't know about the combination either so they sent me to the other spot which was about like 45 minutes away um in a whole other city again heading from oklahoma city towards dallas but it was like 45 minutes away from that first stop so i ended up having to I set the, at that one, got a hold of somebody else. They called me and was like, oh yeah, here's the uh, code to it. They gave me the code to it. The code was the same to all the containers. So I dropped that off, then drove to the third location, which was um, on the way back towards the freeway. Dropped the third location stuff off and then went all the way back to the fourth, I mean the first location and dropped that stuff off. Then headed back to the fourth location, which pretty much messed my whole schedule up. I was behind time, I was super late. But it didn't affect my score, thank God, because I contacted them and I made notes. So make sure you guys do that if this is something that you want to do. Um, it was just a frustrating night. And then on top of that, I was there all night. I didn't even get home till like maybe 9, 30, 10. And I was like hitting traffic and stuff. I was super tired. I ended up leaving. I want to say that was probably like around like maybe 5. I left Dallas around 5. Didn't get back home until... Oh... It was a minute. It was a nice little minute, but um, but either way it go, I got pissed off, and that's what happened, guys. So, <sighs> pros and cons. I would say starting off um, with Amazon, you're going to want to only do Amazon facility to Amazon facility because all it is is you just get your pallet jack, you put it up under the pallet, push it up, um, you know what I'm saying, push it on your truck, like close it, and then it's good to go. Then you have, uh, once you get to the, I guess the other Amazon facility, you take that same pallet jack, pull the stuff off, and you're good. When you're doing 
Amazon to post office, you're gonna have multiple stops. It can be anywhere from two stops to, I think mine had a total of seven stops, which is nuts. I don't even know what I was thinking doing that my first time. But I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, maximize my, um, you know, maximize like me being out. So yeah, I, um, I think I bit off a little bit more than I can chew, but it was a learning experience. It's Amazon ain't hard. You know what I'm saying? Amazon ain't hard. If that's something that you want to do, you can definitely do it. But um, just make sure that, of course, you're going to need, you know what I'm saying, those combinations. And then two, when you're delivering the post offices, the only thing I would probably say that I hated was actually loading off because they have basically pallets and they're just throwing shit on these pallets that go to these seven different locations. And they're in no particular order. So once you back on to the um, back up to the actual gate, you have to actually organize which goes to which stop. So just imagine me trying to organize. Okay, this is going here. This is going here, and then trying to keep that in your mind too. While well, at the same time, you gotta like separate pallets for ones, and then you got bags which are like the little small white and blue uh, Amazon bags. But yeah, man, like so look at all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's very time consuming. But to be completely honest with you, it ain't bad. It, it's really not bad. I mean, especially once you get used to it. And of course, you know what I'm saying? You get used to that route if that's the route that you're going to run. But yeah, it, it's really not bad. I guess I just got more frustrated because I've been on this hot shot shit lately. And then even when I'm not on hot shot stuff, when I was doing the box truck stuff, it was no touch freight. Like, I mean, of course, sometimes I did stuff as y'all remember. But I was just doing it because I was bored. I was just like, man, let me, hey, I got a pallet jack. Like, I'm trying to, like, let me get out here and work out or something. Like, I'm going to get fat just sitting in this chair. But, um, but yeah, I'm used to that, like, either no-touch freight or just doing stuff just because I'm bored. But, like, not individually picking up individual packages. And, like, even some of those uh, packages and boxes are kind of heavy, to, to be completely honest with you. They, like, anywhere from, they can be as heavy as, like, I think I had, like, an entertainment system in one box. And I think that was, like, 50, 60 pounds. And that was, it was a beast, so... Um, but yeah, man, I just want to tell y'all the pros, the cons, the ins, the outs, everything. And uh, I mean, if y'all got any questions, guys, drop them in the comments. Make sure that you like this video, because if you don't like this video, you're petty. You're super petty, and you got to drop a comment. Drop a comment. Don't DM me on Instagram. I got too many messages. I only respond to questions the first 24 hours of each video. All right? After that, you're on your own. You got to catch the next video, all right? So... Um, drop your questions in the comments. I appreciate you guys. I know, you know what I'm saying, um, y'all happy to see me back in the box truck, uh, even though right now I'm in, um, oops, I did not mean to do that. Even though right now I'm in the hot shot, I'm actually in Tampa, Florida right now. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know I'm in my, in my other baby. But I got more box truck com uh, content coming for you guys. I think I may, I think I may do Amazon and a few other things just to kind of show people different ways how to make money um, in your box truck. I want to try to see how creative I can get when it comes to making money in a box truck. So um, if y'all want to see that, make sure y'all drop a comment um, and let me know. And yeah, share this video everybody know. Make sure you subscribe because if you're not subscribed, that's also petty. And no, nah, that's super petty. That's like the all time petty of pettiness. So make sure y'all subscribe and I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Let's run this shit up, bro. See y'all later. Peace.